What goes up? Must come down. This place is unreal. Oh my god. I've never experienced anything like this before. This is me, Kels, and here's my handsome husband, Jay. For the past year, we've been traveling the country in our schoolie with our adorable daughter, Pippa. Come along for the ride as we try to figure out this crazy journey of living and traveling in a school bus. Last week, after waiting for over a month, we were finally able to switch out our old leaky fuel tank for a new one. We said our goodbyes to the comforts of our spot in Phoenix and continued to make our way east, where we found ourselves back at a truck stop just outside Tucson, Arizona. In England, this is a staple cuisine. Beans on toast. Oh, I forgot to add the cheese. It's really hard to do one handed. Come on. Come on. I'm in. World. That, man, that man was sitting there eating something. So we slept at a nice little truck stop. You can see it with Alex in front of us, like two bugs snug in a rug. And the reason I'm so excited to be sleeping at a truck stop is because it means that we are no longer in the same place and we are on to our next destination. Sure, not entirely sure where that's going to be, but it's nice traveling with someone else and kind of just figuring it out with him as we go. We left our truck stop and started making our way towards New Mexico. I think we might catch up with the front. Yeah. So you thought you got it made for He's living slipping out the back door What you made for, and there is nothing that is too late for. I love the cold into my world. So, for anyone wondering what a bus is like climbing a mountain, this is where we're at. So, our water temperature is pretty darn high, as well as our transmission temperature. So, what I do when we climb is I drop it down again, I drop it from drive to third, that way the transmission doesn't get too hot. And then honestly I just keep an eye on the temperature gauge and make sure we don't overheat. And then lastly, I always make sure I look for places to pull over if we need it. And if you hear that, that's the fan just kicking on to pull the engine down. Come on, Bessie. Out of the cold into my warm hands in the sun. What goes up? Must come down. And this is the fun thing. Just arrived at White Sands National Park. This place is unreal. White Sands National Park is covered with 275 square miles of wave-like dunes of glistening gypsum sand. So I don't know if the camera's doing this justice, but this looks like snow. 
feels like snow. Feels like snow, like it's super cold on the feet. It is snow. It could be. It, there is <laughs> ice in it, it looks like. No. no. It's crazy. Gonna try and get a nice little it's sunset. Like cool, There's so much I guess you can. Good reward after a day driving. The sand is used for hiking, sledding, and sometimes the park is closed because it can even be used for missile tests. If you go, be sure to bring a real sled so you don't make the same mistake we did. Uh, here comes trouble. Got a look day watch. Yeah. So who's who's <laughs> going first? You are. Me? Yeah. You're the pro. I don't know if this is going to work, guys. I don't care. As long as you're falling, then. <laughs> My name's Jamie, and welcome to Jackass. Is <laughs> 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 he got a good workout in? I think Alex knew this was gonna happen and he just wanted you to do it so you'd look stupid. <laughs> He's enjoying this so much. Barkley <laughs> and it glistens. It's just so pretty. Do you like These guys the are making fun of me because I like rocks and sand so much, but someone please back me up. It's each, so pretty. Each in the round. Whatever whatever <laughs> floats your boat. It's so pretty. I'm happy that you're happy. It looks fake, or it feels fake, but it's real. It's fixing. Mother Nature. Brought to you by Mother Nature. So apart from our feet being frozen, that was gorgeous. I thought it was a good idea not to wear shoes. Yeah. Except for Alex. How wrong we were. Um, so now the mission is to find somewhere to camp for the evening and then plan some adventures for tomorrow. I can't feel my feet! <laughs> All right, we're gonna run back to the bus. So it wouldn't be a visit to a national park unless Puba got to see it. Come on, Look at the sand. Isn't it pretty? Isn't it so pretty? What do you do? Do we put her in it? She's so unsure. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, fuck this. Back so fast. Do you not like it, Pips? Yeah. Oh, baby. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I dare you dig a little deeper. It makes you feel a little stronger. Who knows what you may find? You'll see in your own time. It might just take a little longer It all goes by so slowly Ooh, you waited your whole life Your days turn into nights Now let the river flow Deep into the ocean all the time So we just arrived at the caves. Alex is kind of becoming like our tour guide because he's basically been to every part of America and he recommended this one. So we're gonna go explore it, show you guys around. Hidden beneath the surface of the Chihuahuan Desert, here are more than 119 caves formed when sulfuric acid dissolved limestone, leaving behind caverns of all sizes. So it's $15 if you don't have a national park pass, but we have one. Another reason to get it, because it's only like 90 bucks, right? You make your money back in like well, four national parks. So this is what we're about to do. We're going to walk all the way down here. Yeah. Explore oh, the caves. Then we turn around up there, come all the way back. And exit via an elevator.
From medicinal microbes to alien environments, the caves at Carlsbad Caverns National Park are a scientist's dream. <laughs> I thought I was going to scare you. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, did they? Did they make a haunted house? Wow, it's pretty cool. I've never experienced anything like this before. I can't see though. They're home to cave crickets, Mexican free-tailed bats, and ring-tail cats, which were so cute. It's a good thing I didn't run into any or Pippa would now have a sister. The same tail as Pippa is so cute. As we descended the height of the Empire State Building, we couldn't help but try to find shapes in the stunning calcium sulfate formations. It looks like a little finger. <laughs> Pointing up to the sky. Like yours when you broke it playing basketball. Yay. <laughs> This is how close Kelsey gets to losing the temper when I don't do the washing up. This one looks like an upside down ball sack. All sack tits. <laughs> We left the caverns and headed to a remote area just down the road. From the blissfulness of the white sands to the serenity of the caverns, I'd say this week will definitely go down as one in bus life that we'll never forget. I dare you dig a little deeper It makes you feel a little stronger Who knows what you may find This truck stop is actually really cool. I'll try to get some shots of it. There's like rocks and... I, I have a weird fascination with rocks. Jimmy always makes fun of me. AKA. These rocks that I collected yesterday. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys this truck stop. I don't know if you can even tell how big these rocks are, but this is just so cool. This huge rock. I was that kid in middle school that had a rock collection and thought I was the coolest person ever. Actually, I knew I wasn't cool then, but it's okay. Rocks make me happy. Did you just... Jesus Christ. <laughs> Satan may or may not be down here and I'm terrified. But <laughs> First time peeing at under... Where, how many feet are we? 850 feet underground. Great success, no? The water's never gonna rain out. It all goes by so slow. 